Hey guys, I was doing some drum editing this week and uh, there's a couple Reaper features that you might not be aware of um, that are really helpful in a, this particular situation. And so I'm just gonna share some tips from that. Um, we're not even gonna do an intro this time. So I did my drum edits for this song and they sent me one take and I just went through and chopped it up, got it in time and sounding as good as I could from that one take. When the band listened back to it, they had a couple notes on it, and there are some spots where we felt it would be best to go to another take for that. Because they didn't send me all the takes in advance, I wasn't able to comp it and then do the drumettes. That's the best way to do it. Get all your comping done, find the best of the best parts of each part of the song, and then do your dr timing edits. Uh, in this case, I had to do the comping after the editing was done and paste in parts from. Uh, different performances. So um, the completed project looks like this, where I've got these multicolored uh, sections. But let's go back to how uh, this started. So I've imported my files, and I'm going to insert a empty MIDI item that's the same length as these items. So um, I'm going to select my drums folder track, go to the insert menu, and new MIDI item. So that puts in an empty MIDI item that's the same length as these items. I'm gonna select all these items by uh, marquee selecting, dragging over them, and then I'm gonna press my uh, grouping shortcut, which on my computer, it's Control G. Um, the default for Reaper is G, or you can right click and go to group, group items. So now if I drag this around, all these items are grouped together. And I like to have this in the folder lane just because there's so many items already on this track. Moving these around is going to be kind of difficult. The next thing I did was set up the per item ruler on that empty MIDI item. So I'm going to disable my group, which is just turning off this button in the main toolbar. I use Shift G for that. I'm going to right click item settings display item ruler, and you can set it to item time, source time, item beats, minimal. I'm going to go with source time in this case. Um, on a MIDI item, it doesn't really work the way that you would expect. On an audio item, the source time would keep the original source time, so the original zero point of the um, of the file would be the timing reference. Uh, but item time, it will reset every time there's an edit. Um, unfortunately, with a MIDI item, there's not really a source time. So if I make a split, the ruler will actually um, will actually start over. But that's okay. Uh, for this, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that um, in the full item, it's going to help me find the marked time positions that were in the original full length of the song and the original take. So I've got some areas marked like uh, use take nine at a minute 44. So I can find a minute 44 in take nine, and that's about here. Uh, I'll just set my ruler, I mean, my grid to like quarter notes. And so I believe this is actually the spot. Yeah, that's the spot. So I'm just going to um, adjust the timing of these notes or these, these drum hits so they actually line up on the, the bar. And I'll go to go to there. Let's move that over. So I've got this item, and I can hit X on that to cut it. And I'll go over to my spot where it's going to be pasted in. I'll take away these previous items, and I can paste in uh, on here. And so again, it's just it's just a convenient way for me. To, um, to grab a whole bunch of items, even though they're already grouped and selecting one item selects all of them in a group. I found it just a little bit easier to have that item and just like a, a handle to move things around and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all the timing edits, but that's the basic thing. The two things I wanted to show were putting in an empty MIDI item so you have a handle and some sort of reference um, in the folder lane of the items that you're moving around. Um, you can see very easily where I've comped in things after the fact. 
And the other thing was the item ruler, which just helps you find certain spots based on the source time. I guess the third tip would be just to give each take a, a separate color so it's easy to find things. It's, it's very easy to spot where I've comped things in. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this tip. I don't know what this video is called, but uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper Vlog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.